Hey everybody, it's Work at Home Gal here. This is month two of selling on Etsy, so the date for this will be March 1st, 2023 until March 31st, 2023. This video will go over my stats, we'll look at my uh, sales map, and I'll show you kind of a surprise at the end that has to do with stickers. But um hope you guys enjoy, and I'll try to share as much information as I can on this. All right, so I already got my stats ready for us to look at. This is for March 1st to March 31st, uh, 2023. So as you can see, I've had a 106 visits and zero orders, which is okay. I was definitely not expecting any orders, but I still did make um, a sales goal of three. This is just the, well... It might be hard to see this actually, but that's the sales map. Um, that was for uh, March, and then of course there's an April sales map, but we won't go into detail about that yet. Um, now, you're going to see it says visits increased 186% compared to the same period last year. So last year, there this was also up and running, but like I explained, at least I think I explained hopefully in my other videos, um, because the, vi it, like, things got shut down, um, because I was dealing with, like, a family death and some other things, uh, I didn't want to include those stats because there were no sales then either, so it's going to be now going forward that I'm going to include the stats. So if we scroll down here, um, you can see how shoppers found me. So Etsy bought me 18% of visits, Etsy app and other Etsy pages, uh, shows eight, Etsy search shows three, Etsy marketing SEO shows eight. I've bought 82% of visits, direct and other traffic and social media. All right, let's see what this is going to show us here. Um, dum, dum, dum. The search says 3% of visits, Etsy marketing SEO says eight. We can scroll down, kind of gives you an idea. Then I think these are the visits or like to the listings that were viewed. And then if you go down here, it looks like these are terms that people use. So somebody used Ostara Digital, Easter Basket Tag Principal, and Grade 1 Easter Digital. So that that's cool and good to know. So if anybody else is in, you know, doing a shop with similar keywords, you might want to put these down. Ostara Digital. Easter Basket Tag Printable and Grade 1 Easter Digital. And then you can see up here, like we see there's the Blesto Star Altar Print. There's the Easter Tag. Uh, this is the Easter Tag Printable. There's an Educational Worksheet for Kids, April Savings Challenge. And then this. I see the sales map is there, though I'm not sure. Oh, I think that's there because it's showing one view, actually. I don't think it has to do with this down here. Um... Let's say marketing SEO. What does that tell us? Is that what we just looked at? Bing.com and Google.com. Okay. Cool. Cool. We'll look at social media. Uh, yeah. Face, most of it would be Facebook. So Facebook, there's actually two people on my friends list who I regularly will send a link of my shop to, not expecting them to buy it. And I'm not trying to get views, but I'll say, what do you think of this listing? Or what do you think of this product? And I'll show them what I'm working on. So that's really what this is about. I don't have a fa like, I don't have a business Facebook page. Pinterest, I do have, and I don't know. Does anybody know what t.co means? Cause I don't. I'm a little confused about that. Um, okay, let's look at... So, SC Search, I think we just looked at, but let me just check it to see if it has different information. Oh, that's right. We checked this last time and there were no search terms. So, I'm, I'm still learning this because I'm not really... I'm not sure what this section is for. So, let's see. I muted my <clears throat> mic because I... <clears throat> I had to sneeze. Sorry about that. Okay. Shoppers viewed my listing 79 times. And I am not using... Um, like, I know they do their promotion or whatever. But I'm not paying for ads at this time. Um, okay. 
Then we can look at direct mail to traffic says 79. What do we got going on in here? YouTube, one visit from YouTube. Yeah, see, I, fi I find this kind of confusing about Etsy. Like, it tells me tra traffic source breakdown is YouTube. Um, then you can see the different visits, but... Like, it's not... Um, yeah, it's not really... I, I mean, it, is it just YouTube, though? Like, so the, I find that a little confusing, but hopefully... In time, I'll learn it, or maybe I should look at the Etsy handbook, perhaps. Social media. So we already saw this. Twitter. Oh, actually, this is new. We didn't see Twitter. Twitter 1, Pinterest 2, Facebook 5. That's cool. And then, of course, you'll see Etsy ads. There's nothing there. Okay, so all in all, I mean, it's it's not the best, but it's not terrible either um hold on a second i wanted to reload this to show you guys something else um oh it isn't showing it anymore i, I had a thing in here before that was showing the uh actually i know what i'll do let's let's try the re re go to what i was looking at here and see um we're gonna reopen etsy and we're going to go here to view my profile. Uh, no, that's not where I want to go. There there was a, something in here about Etsy. Up. Here it is. All right. So when you're going into your, I think, what was that? Was that shop manager that I clicked on? Shop manager. Etsy up. Um, it's funny because it keeps telling me the register, though I already did. But anyways, want to grow your shop in 2023. And that it's telling me that I can learn strategies for telling your story and connecting with customers. And you can also win stuff. So can I actually go open this just to show you guys in case you missed it? This is the landing page for it, which literally etsyapp.com. Um, let, let me take this other junk out of here and just see if it still uh, loads up etsy.etsyup.com for us. Oh yeah, it loads up the same way. So it tells you you can RSVP. This is a free event being held on May 18th, uh, 1 p.m. I think that's Eastern time. Let me just see when, uh, no, we want May. So May 8th, is actually a Thursday which I might have off I don't know yet though but if not I'll be taking a vacation day because I don't want to miss this um this is what I like here though what to expect virtual panels and speakers on content strategy trends marketing Etsy search and more special perks and the chance to win amazing prizes including a thousand dollar Etsy gift card or five hundred dollars in Etsy ad credits opportunities to chat live with other sellers and get some fun surprises a global community event packed with inspiration um and the speakers, I mean, there's tons of people here. Don't know all these people, obviously. And some of these shops I've not heard of. But it looks like it's going to be a good event. So I, I highly suggest getting over there if you can. Make sure you go to it. Um, so some stuff I worked on. I th think in my last video I mentioned editing tags and stuff like that. And you're going to see here. So the April Savings Challenge. We did make some uh editing we did do some editing here so for this what i simply did this challenge is from last year but i recreated all of the listing photos and i put in new uh keyword tags i did the same thing for my scavenger hunt same thing for my easter themed worksheets this one i didn't bother do doing i left this the way it was this coloring page the gift tags was actually a new product so that was new and then these coloring pages were new as well and there, there's not a lot going on here i've only added 13 products just because i did get a cricket and i've been working on stickers so i just want to show you some of the stickers i plan to put in my shop so we have one called cottage core stickers first version this is what it's going to look like packaged when i go to ship it I think you can guys can see that hopefully so you can't see the stickers very well but the listing photos obviously is going to show all the stickers but i i like how this turned out and i hate that i'm using plastic but i have all these plastic bags and i gotta get rid of them somehow so i figure use it for this we also have a mental health sticker this is made with the cricket 
It says, oh, hold on. Hold on. Can you guys see it? Take care of your mind. And this was the first sticker that ever got cut. I love this one. Mental health matters with the brain on fire. I love I love this one. And this one I'm keeping I'm keeping for me just because it's the first cut. But that's some of the stickers that I've had uh done with my Cricut. Still learning how to use it. Still lots of great stuff to learn. Um but yeah. Oh, the other thing I did was this up here for, for my shop. I went and I uh I edited my banner to make it a spring banner and then I put stickers coming soon. I see my sh uh sale is still running. I had a Easter sale which I thought ended today, but maybe it ends tonight or tomorrow, but it's 15% off on like anything that's kind of Easter themed. Ostara, although some people might consider it Easter themed, it happened in March so I'm not including it. Um, plus it's not, um, I mean, it's more of a pagan thing, I feel like. Um, but yeah, these, these are the few things that are on sale and whatnot. So I hope you guys liked the video. I tried to share as much detail as I could, could here, but, uh, below I will share like a link to my Etsy shop, of course, if you want to look at it. We'll have a link to my Twitter because I post off and on on there. And TikTok is TikTok. You can actually see when stuff like this is being created with the cricket and whatnot. And, uh, very, I, now keep in mind my, my Something I feel like I should explain. My TikTok is not Woolsey Designs. It's literally work at home gal. And it's more it's about me, but it's also about this Etsy page. So my TikTok, although it isn't geared just towards the Etsy business page, you'll find other stuff on there too. Whether it's me screwing around with filters, me outside saying something, or me making stuff, right? Like it's different different stuff i want to i want to give it the personal vibe where you guys could get to know me but also the shop vibe a little bit where i'll post about shop stuff but i don't want to like i don't want to um make the tiktok heavy on like sales or this is out come by this and this like as i post something i let you know on tiktok but i'm not going to make like 10 videos obviously on the same product or anything but yeah Anyways, if you like my content, feel free to like, content, and subscribe, and take care, and have a great evening. Bye, guys.